my dear fellow listeners and viewers, I would like to share with you how you can live your best life. Obviously, there are things we can do for us to live a better life. No question about that. So here we go. One, you want to make sure that you start fresh every single day. So what that means is if you have had a bad day yesterday, don't let that hold you back. Just move on. Just move forward. Put that behind. You know, go there with a positive mindset. If you really wanted to do something, didn't work out, say, you know what? I'm going to go now with more energy. I'm going to go now with more passion. I will give it my all, right? And that's all that matters. As long as you're giving it your all every single time. But the idea is to make sure that you're starting off every day with a, with a, with a, a positive mindset, right? So for example, when you wake up in the morning, it's probably a good idea to ask yourself, what is it that you would like to accomplish today, right? At the end of the day, it is not a bad idea to reflect as well too, to see how you have done. So you can ask yourself a simple question. What have you done today, right? So that way you will know if you have made any progress, right? You also want to make sure that you try your very best to stop complaining. You know, some people keep complaining and complaining, complaining. If you're going to continuously complain, you're not allowing yourself to live your best life because your life will become extremely miserable. Right? Because at the end of the day, we have a choice, right? We can focus on negativity all the time, or we can just move on and do good things in this world. So if we stop complaining, it means that it will give us more time to focus on things that we would like to accomplish in life. That's important. You also want to make sure that you create opportunities for yourself. Keep in mind, nobody will knock on your door and say, guess what? I have this for you. You really have to be lucky for that to happen. Very rarely that happens. And it's only a tiny dot, small percentage of people get those kinds of opportunity. But ideally, it is important for you to create opportunities for yourself. You know things that you're good at. Don't worry about what other people are doing. One of the biggest mistakes people make is following and copying what people are doing. Big mistake. When they do that, they're not allowing themselves to grow and they look stupid too at the end of it all. So you want to make sure that you are creating opportunities for yourself based on your own skill set, based on your own purpose, based on your own niche, based on the things that matters to you, based on how you would like to remember all of these things. You also want to make sure that you live your life with a conscious mind, right? Don't live for the sake of living, right? Live your life with a conscious mind. So when you do things, it's making sense. Is making sense for you, is you know, it's making a positive contribution, right? So if you live your life just for the sake of living it and not living your life with a conscious mind, a lot of things can go wrong, right? We have to be mindful of our surrounding, we have to be mindful of our actions, we have to be mindful of the things we say, you know, because we have to realize that people are watching, people are listening. So we want to make sure if we say and do anything, we are not hurting people intentionally, right? And so when you do things with a conscious mind, all of these things will make sense. So I hope that you find this video fruitful. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe you know, to our channel, YouTube channel. If you're watching to YouTube, if you are watching on Facebook, do like our page so that you can get first-hand notification. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. My name is Narayan Sukram. Wishing you a great today and even better tomorrow. I'll talk to you soon.